Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is an unexpected Extra Throttle House video, actually. Yeah, well, Extra Throttle House, where we do a little bit extra, and we found a Dodge that has a little bit extra. Wow, that this, was good. That's thank good, you. That's a good one. This yeah. is a Magnum SRT8. With an aftermarket shaker hood. True, yeah. So, but this is not just a normal Hemi V8, is it? No, it's very, very much not a normal Hemi V8. This is an interesting car because right. it oh, there's, is- There's a real car. Oh, for God's That's sake. That's a yeah. real yeah. sports car there. It's a Miata. <laughs> All right, carry on, Actually, Sorry. philosophically, it couldn't be further from what this is. Which means that this is the opposite of me. Yeah, very, very much. Yeah. But it, this is not, I think there's a car on this planet I could picture you in less than one of these. Well, in five minutes, you'll see me in it. I, I, it's gonna be weird. Okay, so this is a 5.7 liter Hemi engine that has been bored to 6.1 liters, okay? Right. But it doesn't stop there. They did so much engine modification to this, it sounds like, like the build sheet for like a SEMA build. Okay. Right? It's like just a few things off the top of my head. It's got a forged crank. It's got a billet cam. It's got a special oil pan because of the higher RPMs that it can do. It's got special pistons. It's got little oil squirters to cool the pistons. It's got hollow valve stems, all in the name of creating more power. And it has. Well, it predates, yeah, it's got 425 horsepower. It's 420 pound feet of torque. This predates the 6.4 liter. Yeah. So this predates Hellcats, all those sort of things. This is, this is SRT just showing off in 2006 to 2008. At its finest. Yeah. And it's not actually just the engine they modified. Almost every part of the suspension has been beefed up, strengthened, and actually it even has a quicker steering ratio. So what you're telling me, this is excellent. <laughs> and for 38,000 US dollars when it came out new back then, for the price of an Audi A4, yep. you got a five-speed V8 wagon. It is a very, very cool concept, and I'm interested to try it because the mostest, modernest, highest techest version of these cars still feels like an ocean liner. So, what's this going to feel so, like? As in, like we don't ha we haven't come that far, you think? <laughs> no, I don't think we've come very far at all. But I, I don't know. I. I feel like this is gonna be raw and silly and nuts and dangerous, and that's kind of what I'm hoping it's gonna be, right? Okay. And with the cargo space higher than an Audi Q7, modern day Audi Q7. But yeah, that makes sense. It is it's actually It's actually big. a sensible decision. It's it, this sen is logical, it's it sensible. is. It's sensible. It's gonna yeah. hold its value too, you see that? Yeah. All right, I'm, you're, I'm driving, get in. All right. Okay, we're in it. Whoa, 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 Jesus. whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, okay. This is actually our friend, yes. friend of Throttle House, Dave Elich's car. Uh, these are some drumsticks with his name on. Because he's a pro drummer. Not only is he a pro drummer, yeah. he's like the master drummer. And yes. he has an online class, and if you ever want to get good at drums, he is a god. He's like literally one of the best drummers in the world. Yeah, like, Miley, seriously. Miley Cyrus knows how to play drums because of him. Um, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yes, yeah. Okay. And this is his car that he uses, and he's the drum teacher that shows up in a Magnum SRT. In a Magnum SRT, he's that guy. We love you, Dave. This is a, this is a cushy chair. These feels, chairs are real it soft. It's very familiar, this seat. Okay, so something weird is happening right now. Um, this, this is, I, I'll be honest, I expected this to be shit. Straight up, I expected it to be Sorry, shit. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. It's just actually not, though. Like, I haven't even used the engine, but, woo! But like it, it sounds pretty good. Actually. It actually feels pretty agile. The steering ratio is fast, and like the steering is 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 kind of strangely sharp. Look at this interior. It's it's simple. It, it's not over designed. It's not ugly. It's just off its time. Oh, I see. So the transmission is pretty ancient. You have to kind of understand its logic to get it to downshift. So I'm just gonna do it. Manually, okay. So this oh. Woo! Okay! This is a, got a few little mods in it. <laughs> oh, oh my good. god. <laughs> You're trusting this a lot more than I thought you'd trust it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's on new tires, we're good. So oh, this has man. a this has a baller exhaust. It has a baller exhaust. It has a baller exhaust. A baller exhaust. Yes, yes. a baller exhaust. <laughs> um, and it's got a, a cold air intake. It hustles. And Dave has replaced the, uh, the AMG so. Oh my god. It's a bit floaty. It's a bit floaty it's a bit. on it's braking. For comfort. It's for comfort. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's got AMG solenoids in the transmission. So this is actually 
not even the worst. Yeah, yeah apparently it was way yeah, bad, worse before, point. yes. But this thing, it was claimed, I think it was over just 5, 5.1 seconds north to 60 in back of then. Yeah, it's, and it, it's, it's quick. Tot it totally feels totally like that. Totally feels it, honestly. Yeah. I can't get over how agile it feels. Like, you, you feel that, like, turning, like, the immediacy of the front end like that? Yeah. I, I know this is crazy to say, but this is absolutely just as good on the front end as a Hellcat Red Eye. A Charger Hellcat Red Eye. That's the best one. It's still 43, 4,400 pounds in weight, this. My God. It's it's surprisingly confidence-inspiring. Yeah, in I the driver's seat. I really, really, really didn't expect it to be this good, honestly. On braking, you really feel the mass and the sloopiness and the, yes. and the boopiness and the gloopiness. But <laughs> other than that... It's, it's very clean in here. How many miles has this done? One, 155,000 miles? It's so funny, because if I saw that on a listing, I would, I would, I would go, never I buy it. I wouldn't go near it. I'm going to turn around. I want to go up the hill a little bit so I can feel hear a little bit more engine. And it feels very clean in here. It does, yeah. It's not for sale, by the way. No, it this isn't. This is pride and joy. He's actually quite an eclectic owner. He's got he this, a Barracuda, yep. and a Citroen SM. <laughs> but you didn't see that third one coming, did you? That's, that's a great engine. Yeah, the, the engine actually feels light. It feels effortless. Like there's that like kind of immediacy to it that it doesn't feel cumbersome at all. There's also a nice baritone to it. I mean, yeah. we love we love the modern day Hemi's. Oh, they're right? all good. We yeah. We're recently in the Chrysler 300C, which is not that different to this. <laughs> no, it isn't. Even actually, this is this feels better than the Chrysler 300C in the corners, and I'm not even making that up. <laughs> Okay, I didn't see this coming. This is a wonderful surprise. These are these are like, what's the word for them? They're sleeper. They're sleeper cars. And like as the hundred percent they are. It just looks like a Dodge wagon. Do people modify them? Do you think? Do they put superchargers on them? I'm sure they do. I don't know how the 6.1 responds to a supercharger. I mean, you can supercharge anything, but like this engine is very much built to be what it is, a naturally aspirated, I don't want to say high revving, it's still push rod engine. What is it, what's the red line? Past 6,000, I don't know exactly what, but didn't even reach it there because the gears are so friggin' tall. But, <laughs> no, it's, I don't know, it's, it honestly feels... <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't be fun to canyon carve in a, wag a Dodge wagon. A Dodge wagon from how many years ago, right? So it sits, it sits, I think, half an inch lower than the normal Magnum of its time. Yeah, as I said, there's a lot of suspension components that have been upgraded, right? Yeah. The dampers, sway bars, spring rate, bushings. You name the suspension part, it's had a... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a fancy, it's not a fancy thing. No, 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 it is the opposite of fancy by design. Yeah, but like I mentioned before that it's sort of mid-trim Audi A4 pricing of the era. And uh, yeah. it's not quite Audi inside. No, it's not, but... It's got heated seats. It does have heated seats. Two-stage heated seats. I've got four gauges, that's more than three. That is more than three. See? That is more than three. Yeah. I don't, I, these aren't worth much, still. That's kind, of, that's kind of strange, actually. Well, they because... didn't sell many. You know, we were trying to research why they stopped. And apparently in the last year, I think it was 2008, they only sold a couple of hundred. So they're rare, but that doesn't always mean good. But I think in this case, as you said... It, I kinda, it does kind of mean good. Nice surprise. It's a, it is a nice surprise. It drives... It, it, when I say better than I thought it did, the way that I thought it was going to drive, I was taking into account the engine modifications, the suspension modifications, all that stuff, and it drives significantly better than I thought it would. So there you go. I also like this era of SRT, where they put the number at the end. Like the Chrysler Crossfire got an SRT6, and this is the SRT8. Right. Now it's the SRT wide body jailbreak. Three. Scat, S scat, last tack, call, final SRT, shakedown. shakedown. Yeah. Simpler times, simpler times. This makes me want In-N-Out. We just had In-N-Out. I know. 